NumPy arrays are a lot like lists, but they do act a little bit differently. So I'm going to just create a list here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Very simple. And I'm also going to create a NumPy array. But before I can do this, I have to import NumPy. I'm going to import it as NP just to make my life a little bit easier when I call NumPy. So I'm going to make A equal np.array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There. So we've got an array and a list, both with the same thing. Now if I say L plus 5, we can't concatenate a list with just an integer. But if I say A plus 5, we'll notice something different. We basically just, it, this returns a new array, but it added 5 to each of the elements in the array. And we can do a similar thing where we multiply it by 2 or pardon me, multiply by 5, and we now we're multiplying every element in that array by 5. Where if we do that with L times 5, we actually just get a the list 5 times all in a row. Now, the multiplication and plus, along with subtraction and division, can also work on other arrays. So I can say A plus array, and I, I'll give it another array of the same size, so I'll, I'll make it do, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and let's see what happens. We do like element-wise addition. So we added 0 to 10, we added 1 to 11 to get 12, we added 2 to 12 to get 14, and so on. And it works similarly with multiplication. So there we go, that's like, uh, multiplying everything, element-wise multiplication. So it works a lot like vectors in linear algebra, you know, like we can either multiply these arrays by scalars or other arrays. So that's pretty cool. Now, this is a, this is a new idea I'm about to talk about. Arrays are objects, and objects actually have something called attributes, and we haven't seen this yet. You're creating this array object inside the computer, and then you can ask things of it. You can ask about like features about it and you can tell that object to do specific things. It's, it's interesting. So it's kind of like this. Hey pizza, how many pieces of pepperoni do you have? 15. Hey pizza, what kind of pizza are you? Three me. Hey pizza, are you cut yet? False. Now these objects, all objects of the same type will have the same attributes and like functions. But objects of different types will have different ones. Hey, Olive, how many pieces of pepperoni do you have? Object Olive has no attribute. How many pieces of pepperoni? So that won't work. But an olive might have an attribute like this. Hey, Olive, do you have a pet? True. So if we go back to our interpreter, we can actually see what types of attributes and functions the, the array objects has. So I've got my array, A. And I typed A dot and I hit tab. And now it's got this list of a whole bunch of different things I can do. A whole bunch of different things. So I can ask it like, what's the biggest number inside of you? Well, it's four. What's the smallest number? Zero. There's a whole bunch, go exploring. But this is how objects work. Objects can have attributes and functions that you can call and figure things out about them, tell them to do things.